What's up, YouTube? It's South Outdoor Live. Today, we're going to do a couple vlogs uh, this week because I didn't pick up any fishing lures or anything like that. So, we're going to do vlogs this week. Uh, if you hadn't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment, like, share it with your friends, anything to help us grow this channel. And later on, we will have a surprise to show you. All right. So this weekend we went and ate at Olive Garden up in Florence. So as we're eating all this, uh, we ordered a couple drinks. Well, the waitress finally brought out our drinks. Uh, one of our friends ordered some fruity, frozen, I don't know what the heck it was. But anyway, we ordered a pitcher of some green apple uh, stuff. It was really good. But in the midst of me moving my glass so she could put drinks down and all that, she pours out this whole gigantic fishbowl-looking contraption all over my lap, all over my phone. Luckily, nothing was ruined. And the manager, I swear... I, I'm not one that I don't I don't get mad about stuff like that. I don't know crap happens. And, you know, I wasn't upset about it. But I was really shocked that when this happened, the manager come out. And he was, he's like, I heard we had an accident over here. I was like, yeah, I got a drink poured on me. So I'm smelling like alcohol, like a freaking brewery. Guy comes up and does his thing. And the guy next next table over to us is laughing. He's probably in his 60s. Real nice guy. He asked me, he's like, well, did it taste good? I was like, no, not really. I, I didn't really get a whole lot to drink out of it. And, yeah, they were just laughing. And apparently everybody in the whole restaurant knew that I had a drink poured on me because all the waitresses were just really talking about it but we got our check and I was like I bet you he's gonna either comp our meal or give us a discount or something no surprisingly not which I I didn't care I'll pay full price I don't that don't matter but you know it comes down to like okay you're your waitress poured a drink on me. That that wasn't my intentions today. I had to eat food soaking wet on a frozen soaking wet at that. But the biggest thing is when I, right as soon as we were paying, I noticed that it was on my boot. I had just bought these boots like last week, maybe two weeks ago. I hadn't had them on maybe a week or two. And... <laughs> I looked at my wife, I was like, this better come off my boots. Because I wasn't mad about anything else in the world except for my boots. Because boots are expensive. Well, Brittany actually got to clean them. They come clean and all that. So, that was our whole deal. Uh, what was that? Friday night, I believe? Yeah, Friday night. And then Saturday, we just grilled hamburgers and hot dogs. Had a real good time visiting with friends and family. And we were supposed to go fishing, but it was getting so late. I had to work at the store, um, all that. And by the time I got over there, it come a trenches rain pour. And lightning started striking, and I was like, nope, no thank you. I don't feel like getting an electric It didn't look like a Christmas tree today. Uh, but the big thing that happened this weekend, actually yesterday, I'll show you what happened to, in tomorrow's vlog. So look for that on Wednesday. But what happened yesterday is, let's go back here. We got Kinley's early Easter pre present. Let's 
say it though, actually. Well, you're not supposed to go swimming. You say hi. So that's what happened yesterday. We ended up going to trash supply, and Brittany has been wanting baby chickens for as long as I can remember. We've never had a real good place to keep them. Right now, they're just in our what I call our storage room. But I'm gonna make a series on their growth and all that on this channel because that's something I love. I love chickens. I can't tell you why. I've always loved chickens. I find them fascinating. And after ours got killed, uh, Kenley, that was always mine and Kenley's favorite thing to do was go out there and play with the chickens. Even though she wouldn't play with them, she, they, all, they were always skittish of us. I guess they never had been handled as much, so... Me and Brittany thought that would be a good way to get some that are tamed is get some baby chicks and actually, you know, just handle them. Which right now she can't handle them because they don't really like her. She likes to squeeze her head and try putting them in her, ma in her mouth. I don't know what it is about babies and putting things in their mouth. Like she has a puppy that we're about to get in three more weeks. And she was cuddling with it on the bed. And first thing she wants to do is put the whole puppy in her mouth. But let's go. I had to take her to the mother-in-law's Friday so she could watch her. And yeah. Mother-in-law did not make her nap. So Friday she was ill as a hornet. And yesterday... I know Saturday, yesterday she actually took two really good naps. But yesterday, or Saturday, I'll get it out of here in a minute. Saturday, she didn't want to take a nap again. We ended up staying at our friend's house Saturday night because I didn't want to get her out and it pouring down rain. When I'm talking, the bottom let out. And I'll show you the damages it done yesterday and show you all what we how we fixed it so that's gonna do it for this channel uh if you hadn't already subscribed hit that subscribe button right now uh it's always free and make sure to like share with your friends share with your mama i don't care who you share with but let's make this channel grow and we'll see y'all on the next video